Hey everyone, Craig Williams here, back with another video, and this is probably the last video for the sort of mix down sort of portion of the, the tutorial series. Uh, I'm just going to show you a couple of things that I've that I've done to the track to finish it up. Um, well, I think it's finishing up enough before I sort of bounce it down to a two track and then um, do a little bit of a, a master on it so I can play it out. Uh, some of the things that I've done is um, during these sort of clap break sections, so this sort of section here. I've got the clap getting sent to, turn it down a little bit, getting sent to a reverb. So you can hear it's building. So that's sort of that's one part that I that I did. Uh, always just as I'm going through, just checking levels and just seeing which bits aren't sort of popping out enough. Um, I also just muted some of these parts at the end. So helps give the everything a little bit of a rest before the the drop section comes in. Um, what else have I done? Again, just muted this last little bit here of the tambourine. Um, as we come down, I added that sort of same reverb part to uh, the vocal, this vocal section here. So, you hear it really swelling out and then it gets pulled back down again. Uh, and one of the other little effects that I made was just a white noise sweep and uh, if I put an EQ on there which I've got and just show you that it's all the lows are out so if I just solid it out lows and highs are all out I just wanted it as like a nice little gradual sweep to come into the track so um, it helps give a little bit more to the sort of the transition section and I think that that works really well and then I've just done this I've used the same uh, audio file put it onto a new track and then just reversed it so then and pulled down the level quite a, a large amount um, just so it's not too overpowering, I just wanted like a nice little um, sort of tail out of the white noise there. Uh, and that's about it. There's, there's other little tiny bits that I can't think of right now, but that's pretty much about it. Um, I tried to work the vocal a little bit more in this section here um, because it plays from there to there. It's the same vocal, like 32 bars. It can get a little bit too much, but... Um, Everything that I was sort of coming up with was falling short of where I wanted it, and I think it sounds pretty good as it is now. Um, so I'm going to bounce this out to a two-track and do a little master on it, and then I'm going to be playing it out a little bit and see how it goes, and then from there I'll be making additional uh, videos on um, just after I've played it out and then what I've changed in it to help it work more on the dance floor and stuff like that. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed it so far. Um, next up will be one on mastering, but that's going to be, uh, yeah, so be the next one will be one in mastering. Uh, if you like the videos, uh, make sure you subscribe, and if you can, uh, spare a little time and then head over and give my Facebook page a like. Until next time, see you later.